when the user fills out the registration form and clicks on the sign up button, the form data will be sent for processing to a PHP file. In this case, it will be sent to the sign up form because we did not specify uh, any file in the action of the form. So if we had specified here, for instance, uh, reg.php, the form data will be sent to wherever this file is in our application. Okay, so we leave this as it was. So this is going to be uh, processed within this same uh, sign up form. The data will be sent as an array of key value pairs, where the keys are the names of the form controls and the values are the input from the users. So let me show you a quick example of what I'm talking about before I go ahead to register users and store the information in the database. From the last lesson, we did not include a name for the form control. So include this uh, email. Then uh, the name for this will be username. And the name for this will be password. Okay, now to illustrate what I was talking about, we just want to var dump whatever is in the array that is created when the user clicks on the sign up button. So let's go over to the browser and refresh. You see that currently this array is of size zero and this is empty. So if I uh, fill in some feeds here, and specify a password. When I click on the sign up button, you see that the array is uh, displayed. We have the keys here, like here, the key is the email, and the value entered by the user is this email address. Why right here, the key is the username. Why the value entered is demo. Why this is password and uh, the data entered by the user is this. So this is how the uh, information will be sent over to the PHP script that we're using to uh, process our form. So let's go ahead now and uh, register a user into the system. I'll just move this up. I'll move it up above. So first thing first, we want to include our database script here. So we just say include once. Should be source resource database.php. Okay, so now we have our database here. Can uh, get rid of this. Come up and check and see if it's set. I want to say post of email. So we assess the the key, if the user has feed in the email feed, we want to process the form. So we can uh, declare a variable here to store the email. We say this is email. The value should be equal to whatever the user has imputed in the email feed. So next we do the same for the username. So post whatever the user has entered in the username feed. Next we do for the password. Password should be equals to post whatever the user has entered as the password. So now I'm going to create an SQL statement Call this SQL insert equals insert into our users table. So which of the feed do we want to insert into? We want to populate the username feed. We want to populate the email feed and also the password feed and uh, join it. So what are the values that we'll be populating? 
the values will be we just bind this because we'll be using PDO so say username next we'll say email next to be the password and finally the join dates we we'll just use the php function to insert the current date let's check our database again to be sure that we have feed in the correct color names so we'll go back to our database to be localhost we go to localhost and open one server So you look for our register database. We have the table here, users. Look at the structure, ID, username, password, email, and join date. So remember, ID will be auto increment, so we don't need to manually enter the value. MySQL will automatically insert the value for each row that we create. Next, we need to prepare our statement and insert it into the database. So we'll store this as in a variable statement. This should be equal to our database object that we have created before. Prepare the SQL. So we're going to prepare the SQL statement. So this is one of the advantages of using PDO. Uh, it gives us the ability to actually sanitize whatever input the user has entered to ensure that our database is protected against SQL injection. And don't forget, if you go back and look at our database connection script, we can, uh, let's open that script again, database. So you see that we created an instance of the PDU class. So that is what we are assessing actually here because we have already included here our database file. It's the same as copying everything in that file and pasting it right here. That's what we are doing with this PHP include once function. So now we prepare the statement. Next, we want to execute it. So say statement, we execute, forget it's an array. So we execute an array. We're going to specify the keys. In this case, we want the username. So specify username. What is the value? Value will be the variable of the username that we created right here. So this will be the value here. Next will be the email. This will be email. Value will be the email variable. Okay, next we want the password. So the value will be password. Okay, next let us do this in the right way and uh, put it in the try cache block. We're going to try this and we're going to cache a PDO exception like we did uh, previously. So catch a PDO exception name this es also okay so now if record was inserted successfully we want to display a statement so we say if statement row count is equal one we just want to create a paragraph Mm, echo mm, HTML paragraph. So we could say registration. Successful. Okay, I like to give this a bit of style. So say style. Set the padding to 20, 20 pieces. Mm. Set the color to green. Okay. 
All right, so actually I would like us to store this in a variable and call it result. I think this would be better. So we we'll store it in a variable and call it result. So what we need to do is copy this and uh, bring it here. Change this to red. And here we want to display the error message if there was any error encountered while trying to insert the record into the database. So here we say an error occurred. So ES get message. So next, we'll just display our result here. We'll check with PHP to see. PHP. If it said results. So if there's a value assigned to results, echo result. Okay, so we go over to the form and test that uh, what we have done so far. Okay, so now we have the form here. We're going to create a demo account. Demo at example.com. Name is demo and password will be testing okay so basically now we're just uh saving the password as a plain test so execute this and it says registration successful when we go over to our database and browse we'll see that one record that we uh, already inserted so I'll go ahead and uh, delete this record come over again to here and we want to Ash our password so that it will be secured. So after collecting the password here, we can immediately ash it. So we can say ash password equals we we'll use the PHP function password ash. So we pass in the password that we want to ash, and then we specify the type of ashing algorithm that we want to use so we just leave it as default password default okay now we need to change the value here for the password feed to the asked password so if i go over again and uh, just refresh refresh this so registration is successful can uh, then go to the database, refresh, we we'll see that our password is now being hashed. All right, so this is basically how we can add record into the database very easily. Next, we will look at validating user inputs to ensure that the correct input is being inserted into the database.